Welcome students, parents and carers to our Year 9 Virtual Pathways presentation. This Pathways presentation will help to guide you through the process, ensuring that the correct choices are made. At Heartlands, our curriculum is split into two, Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4, which is taken over two years. There are compulsory subjects. They consist of English, Maths, Science and Physical Education. These subjects are taken by all the students throughout their time at Heartlands Academy to the end of Year 11. Students are guided to follow certain pathways based on their prior performance and strength. This final decision is always made by the head of school in consultation with students and parents and subjects are advised based on performance, strength, also the love and enjoyment of the subject. Students can combine a mixture of GCSEs with other practical or work related subjects and the academy provides a wide range of subject choices for students going into year 10. On very rare occasions, too few students may pick a particular subject and it may not be possible to provide the subject. In this instance, tutors will need to take an alternative. It's always our attention to provide first choices. However, sometimes this may not be possible during timetabling and staffing constraints, as in all schools. There are two pathways, green and red. I'm gonna begin by talking about the green pathway. And this is the pathway that will affect most of the students in year nine going through to year 10. This pathway consists of the following, combined science, which is equivalent to two GCSEs, English language and English literature and maths. There are also three other option choices that can be taken. One of either history, geography, French or Spanish must be taken in any of the three option blocks. This is what the option grid looks like. However, this year you will not need to submit an option grid. Your submission will be done through Microsoft Forms and asked as a step-by-step -step questionnaire that will take you through the process. In each option block, you are going to select two options, your first choice and your backup choice. You will notice across the option grid, you can see certain subjects in bold. Those are the subjects where one of must be taken in any of the three option blocks. However, you may choose to take more than one of those subjects. When you complete your submission, you will do it using Microsoft Forms. A link will be placed on the website and sent to you via text message. The questions on Microsoft Forms look like the one below, where you will be asked a series of simple step-by-step -step questions. This example, is the first choice from option block A. You will notice that underneath, it then reminds you of the fact that you need to select one of the four subjects and it will give you the option to only select one of the subjects in the list below. If it is a subject that you need to pick at least once, you will notice that it is in block capitals. For the red pathway, and this will affect a lower number of students within the year group, you take triple science. This is the equivalent to three GCSEs. You take English language and English literature, and you take maths. You also have another three option choices, but they are open. Here is the grid for red pathways option. You will not need to submit this grid as an online forms questionnaire will be sent to you as a link and a step-by-step -step process will guide you through. There are no subjects involved in this one as it will be an open choice in option A, B and C. Here is an example of how the red pathway will look on forms. In this particular question, you're being asked what your first choice from option block A would be. Please denote that the list will match the grid and you will only be able to select one option. The simple questionnaire process will take you through step by step, making sure that you select the right subjects for your child. Information will be placed centrally on our website 
you will find it on the main page under the COVID-19 consent form link. And this will contain all of the options information from different departments. If you need help, you can do this in two ways. You can call the Academy number 0121-464-3931 and ask for Heartland's reception or email heartlands.inquiry at eact.org.uk. In seeking guidance and support for options subjects, you may need to speak to the following people who are all available to assist you within the academy virtually. You may wish to speak to subject teachers. You may wish to speak to a particular head of department. You may wish to speak to your child's form tutor. You may wish to speak to your child's learning manager. You may wish to speak to the assistant head responsible for options, who is Madam Smith. You may, as a child, want to speak to your parents and carers, and I would suggest that they are the most important people to speak to, to make sure that you are selecting the right option choices for you. Finally, as a student, you may want to speak to other students in year 10 or 11 who have gone through the process and can advise you further. There are important timelines to make sure that, that we have worked through. So Monday the 1st of March is the week beginning and we are going to set all deadlines within this week. The virtual pathways presentation that you are watching now has been made available today, Tuesday, March the 2nd. And your pathways information is published on the Heartlands Academy website to support this. We'll also find the presentation there. On Tuesday, the 2nd of March, you will have your virtual year nine pathways evening from 3.30 until 5.30 p.m. This will be phone communication from a single member of the Heartlands professionals who will guide you through the report and the process of options. The forms questionnaire link will be sent on the morning of Wednesday, the 3rd of March by no later than 9.30 a.m. This will give you the evening of Tuesday, March the 2nd to discuss and talk about all options with your child. And the deadline for submission through the forms questionnaire is Friday, March the 5th at the end of the day, 3.15 p.m. The forms questionnaire text and text link can be found from Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. That concludes our Pathways presentation. Thank you ever so much for your time. Good luck with making the right choices for your child.